what's up guys i'm here with a suspect test live because one of my subs asked me to do one and i'm leading on with my land risk since it has a decent matchup versus my opponent and i almost timed out so like i just found this fun team on a low ladder that my opponent has so i decided to start recording i haven't tested my team my team that much um kind of looks like the standard dog witch type of team that you see with the wish passer he's a shiraji most of the time and uh, they go that's just how I like to build. I didn't want to be weak to stall, um, so I decided to bring. That's just Earthquake. We are Earth played Landris on this team. I don't know why Fakert was ever the player there in case I was Helmet Landris. The reason I'm not going for Rocks is because he had, could have taunt and Earth played. Earthquake would just blow him away exactly if we get the prediction correct. And that does like 60. He can bring his Tangros in, but. Tangros is a bit annoying to this team, but I cannot double switch since he has, since he has Potting Shard. So I guess I will just earthquake again. Um, too well on this account. I just started laddering. Okay, this will get blown away. I don't know why um Gotcha will get nothing. There's probably tank jump. Oh yeah, cause he had the he had the he had the. Never mind. That's not tank jump. He just that just did nothing because of the parting shot. So I can go into my um, scarf and the go because no one goes for earthquake this turn. He's probably going for rocks. I guess Tapu Fini is a fine play to defog after. That would bring in his um, toxic croak potentially. Toxic croak seems annoying for this team, but yeah, let's just make the Tapu Fini play for now. As it's Mega Guard Jump, oh my lord, and he goes for SD, so I'm ready to get blown away by this Earthquake. Don't crit me, dude. <laughs> I should live one because I'm defensive. Like I'm like fist defensive, physically. And I'm faster for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I'm, <laughs> I know I run like decent amount of speed on my Fini, like 100 EVs almost, but still, I shouldn't be faster. So that guy made like a mistake in EVing his guard jump there. So Toxic Crow is a threat, like I said, um, cause if it has like, well it doesn't get knockoff, I think it gets Sucker Punch to hit Jirachi. I wanna go hard and narrow but if he has D, Sucker Punch is gonna blow me away the next turn. He's either gonna have D or Gunk Shot here, so... I don't really know what my play is. I feel like going Landris, getting off Intimidate, and then scouting for Ice Punch, maybe. Mmm. Gotta scout for Ice Punch now. Let me go Jirachi. If he doesn't have, if he doesn't have Ice Punch and he goes for Sucker Punch, that's I think that's an okay position for me. But if he has these again, that would be bad. Okay, he goes Tangros. This doesn't really work out for me, but I can U-turn to um to find out if he's Helmet or Assault Vest or whatever. I guess he could be Leftovers too. We find out that he's not Helmet. Um, he's probably going for knockoff here, so that's, I don't really want to go Maverick, but that sucks. I guess I can go into my own Tangles, or I can go into my... But what does Maverick do this game? Uh, Maverick is nice, like, if Maverick comes in on this, I basically get a huge hit off. With Flare Blitz, less Shadow Bone. Hmm. Nihiligo's uh, Scarf is nice to keep, so I don't want to go Nihiligo. It's either Tangles or Merrick. Um, I feel like going Tangrove, yeah. I don't want to go Merrick on a potential knockoff, like I said. Exactly, yeah. Okay, few. And yeah, he's leftovers tanks, so now I can go for my own knockoff here. I don't have Sleep Out on this Tangrove because I have a type of Fini with Misty Terrain, so I didn't really think it was the best choice to have. So McMortar is fine, we knock off the Scarf, we can bring out Nihiligo here. We should be able to live. Actually this thing gets Earthquake, so let me... Nah, he's not going for Earthquake this turn, unless he predicts me, but I don't think... They even... Oh my god, Mudslap, what the fuck? What is that? Is that a ground move? I think it is, uh, like a base 40 power ground move. How? Oh. Base 20 power. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? It lowers my accuracy, so I can miss my moves now. But yeah, he doesn't have a good switch in for power gem. Besides, like, Toxic Rook, and I miss my move. Oh my lord. Stop it! So he keeps lowering my accuracy. Good god, that's a scum strat. So he just forfeited. 
Um, he said that at the beginning he might have to leave mid battle for class, but I don't know why he forfeited the, ex the turn by he after he hexed me. Oh, I didn't. I, I just registered this account. Why did this say this? What? I will register it after the live if it's not registered yet. Let's just grab another one. Uh, I'm gonna make this a shorter live, maybe like two more battles. As we face some disgusting semi stall type of team, but he has a Z conversion Porygon and a Zard. Um, could be X or Y. Probably Zard Y. And the Ditto is annoying. But Marowak is a decent lead versus him. As, like, I run a good amount of speed on my Marowak. If he leads with his Marowak, I could blow it away. I will just go for Flablets. I'm not playing around with a, with a Porygon. As it's download, it's not it's not uh, adaptability that you usually see on the Z conversion set. I think. <laughs> Let me think this through. Um, the Heligo doesn't do much this game since the Chansey. I have to weaken the Chansey and the Registeel, which will take a while. I don't really see how I can how can I break his team. I guess Marek is super important. Um. Flabbert's recoil here will hurt. Actually, never mind, I have Rocket on this. What am I saying? I have Rocket on this, so <laughs> there's no Flabbert's recoil. Yeah, this is amazing that I have Rocket. Good god. Yeah, this Marek is great, this matchup. If I can keep it healthy with, with um, Wish Pass from Jirachi. And I have to get Rocks up for his Zard, obviously. Mm, Tangros is amazing, this matchup. Oh my god, what is the Z move? Okay, Z conversion. For a second, I thought he would blow me away with some Z move. He's electric type. Flabbits does 5 million and we get the burn. Oh my lord, that is lucky. That is lucky, but I don't think... Um, he's not going for electric type move here because I could have the light... Actually, he knows that I don't have lightning rod, so he can go for electric move. So I could go Jirachi here because Jirachi is Bedav and Jirachi should live any hit and I could go for protect if he doesn't have recover. Um, yeah, he goes for Shadow Ball, that does a lot. I didn't think he would have Shadow Ball. He could have recover if he goes for recover here. I'm, 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 I'm in a bad position, but I want to keep my Jirachi, so I'm gonna go for protect, hoping that he doesn't have recover. As he doesn't have recover, okay. So that lucky burn helped me out. But this guy's team is disgusting, so I don't really feel bad. <laughs> I could see him going into Zard now, obviously. I wouldn't go Marek if I was him because I could flinch that down. So my, my Marek is well trained, I was in the mountains. <laughs> Got that nice Flablets burn. Um, what I wanted to tell you guys, I recorded like a really cool live like a few days ago with... Um, we made like a super fun team. And I was planning on like putting edits in that video so it's like a bit more fun to watch. And I got some trouble on this computer. This editing software doesn't work as I planned. So I will, ha I will try it on a different computer and if that doesn't work I will just have to upload the video how it is. It's still a fun life but... Adding edits would make it so much more fun to watch. Shoutouts to Padlop and BTP. <laughs> the two guys were not live. Yeah, I don't know why this guy's taking so long to send out your Zard, yeah. I, I'm just gonna go hard nail to go here. If he goes for Earthquake, he got me good. But he's not why. He could still be Earthquake for trends, but I don't think that's common. Don't burn me, please. Thank you. I mean, I guess I could burn him too, but... So I guess it would be justice for him. He should go to Chansey here. But I think I can go Marowak here, because like... Hmm. I feel like going Landris here. Yeah, if he stays, then he's just bad. Going Landris just seems as he's actually never mind. I'm Scarf. I was about to say that he stay in, and like he can go into this, you know, his Ditto here. But um, I'm just gonna get up my rocks. I guess that's fine. If he goes Ditto, he can go Ditto. I don't want to go for Earthquake and have him switch out into Ditto or Zard. Yeah, okay. Got interrupted real quick, um, so I paused it. So this guy decided to go Zard, and we just go back to Hiligo here. Love that man. And this time we're just gonna attack. We're not gonna double switch because I'm not trying to get like this time I have rocks up. So even if he 
Ghost Chansey, he will take that cheap damage and up. Played aggressive earlier, so he might stay in this time. Yeah, he just sacks his Zard, so we outplayed this guy. Um, I don't know why he would ever stay in with his Zard. He might just forfeit. Now he stay keeps um, brings out his Ditto, so Ditto has a plus one uh, beast boost. Should I go for the speed? I don't think that's a point. This is actually a threat. Oh my lord! I don't really need my Nihiligo, so I must stay in here. Hopefully win a speed tie. Amazing, get damage on his ditto. The problem is now he's at plus two, so... I think I have to go to Jirachi. Go for Protect, so I can live the next one. Like, I don't know if I could lift this. I can probably lift this even without going for Protect, but I just want some health. And I don't think he's switching out, because he's... Because he's at plus two, he wants to like take advantage of this. And my Nihiligo has HPIs on his team, so it's not like, even if he's not Scarf, you, yeah. That's his best move to hit me. Unless he wants to go for Para with Thunder. I'm just gonna Iron Head here though. I could, I could go for Wish. I could go for Wish, but yeah, I love that easily. If I go for Wish, there's like the. Um, he could switch out on my Protect, so that's why I just wanted to kill him. He brings out his Merrick and I can, I think I can set my Jirachi, I can attempt to flinch him or I can go for a wish here. Like my Landers just gets a kill after afterwards if it comes in, so that's that's amazing, I think we have this match locked up pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't need my Jirachi, I'm just going for our net. <laughs> oh yeah, he kills me completely fine. He's Rockhead too. Um, just bring in Landers, click off quick, like I don't see his switch ins. Show me your switchings. Balloon Registeel would be a switching, I guess. Chansey gets blown away. This is Adamant off play. This team is weak to Hooper, so I don't hope we don't face Hooper. Um, I couldn't make the Landris Jolly to outspeed uh, Hoopers. Um, Jolly off play is amazing for Hooper, but I feel like Adamant is just nice because this team doesn't really have the. Besides Merrick, it doesn't really have the much breaking power. And I, I'm not trying to lose to stall, so I feel like Adam Earth played with Smackdown is just amazing to help with our stall matchup. Um, yeah, this guy could make. Yeah, okay, he just sex the Marek. I was about to say, is he timer stall me? Like, I'm just, I'm just blowing your chance away. Like, I'm 200k on this. I don't care. Like, I could go for SD. I don't know why I didn't go for SD. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. Because if I went for SD, I could have oko his registry. He has Protect. I was thinking about sd there, but I didn't really think that he would have Protect. But, like, this game is over anyway. Like, this doesn't matter. I could have sd first, which would have been a better play, but not that it makes a difference. Like, I have my I have my Merrick in the back, even if I lose my Landris to registry. Like, I will still get an Earthquake off when it's registry, unless he's, like, Quick Claw, some garbage, and he will have... I don't know if Registeel lands Ice Beam, but I don't think it does. Um, yeah, so we'll get one more for sure. We'll probably ladder a bit off screen for my suspect laddering. Um, if I lose too many games, I might start a new alt. Um, like some suspect tests, I uh, like uses three or four alts. Yeah, we just off quick this, do some nice damage. Oh my god, they did so much. I've played Lando in the cut. And yeah, this guy is gone, so we will grab one more for sure. We are 1100. Yeah, we low on the ladder, good god. But yeah, I think I lost another account on the ladder. It's already my second account of Thor. This guy's a scary team. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get blown away now? He rocks land, so I think Scarf and Heligo could be an okay lead. Mm, I don't want him dealing with Tapu Lele. Scarf Tapu Lele. Actually, no, I'm faster with Heligo. Yeah, let's leave with Heligo. If he leads Landers, we can go for HP Eyes. Because I don't think he would go for Vault. Like, I don't think he's going for Earthquake turn 1. I guess he could go for Earthquake. 
But yeah, I'm just going to go for HPI. So if he makes the Magnuson play, which he does, which is a good play on his part, I I don't think he's going to Volt Switch because I have a Metal Rack. So I'm going to attempt to go to my Jirachi here. As he doubles out into Landris. Um, double, I was thinking about double HP or anything there, but not really worth it. We're just going to go Tapu Fini so we can defog the rocks away. Yeah, this guy definitely knows what he's doing, so this, this game is going to be a bit rough. So you think, I think he went for a U-turn. Yeah, that's fine. Like, we don't take much damage from that. We have our leftovers, but yeah, Tapu Lily is in. I'm just going to go into my Jirachi. You can double out. I don't really care. Like... Spec Shadow Ball is the only thing that threatens me as he goes for HP Fire, that does nothing. I wanna make a double here, not something that beats Landorus. Double into another Lego seems kinda hard. Gonna double into another Lego here, break them the Landorus. Uh, I'm just gonna HP eyes again. Yeah, like I don't care if you go Magnezone, I guess it's a f I, I kind of care if he goes Magnezone, but I just hope that he stays in this time. Oh, Magnezone is a threat actually because I don't have Lightning or other Melrag. Hmm. I just feel like playing it safe is the right play here. God, I have to eat after this when I'm hungry. But I record when I'm hungry. When I start recording, that's the question. Yeah, he made the Magnuson play. I figured he would do it, but yeah. I'm gonna go Marek here. Um, actually, no, I don't want to go Marek. I'm gonna go Landris, yeah, actually. If he goes for the flash can, I'm gonna get blown away. Which I think he's probably gonna go for the flash can. Yup. Rip, rip my Landris. Um, I can get my rocks up or I can double bag. Hmm. This is actually a bad position to be in. Because my Marek is weak to Rock, so... Rocks hurt me a bit more than they hurt him, so I'm just gonna make the double into now. He'll go here, as if he stays in, we click that young X button. Makes the Landers play, and this time we're gonna make the Marek play. If he stays in X... We get that correct, and we're gonna click Shadow Bone... Off Lab Blades. Damn, this didn't really, this did, I don't really make much progress. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click Shadow Bone here. Get some chip, we get a crit. That is okay, that is really unfortunate. And uh, we're gonna just bring Tapafini in. Um, yeah, I kinda had trouble breaking through this, so that crit helped me a bit. Just gonna get the defog off here. Yeah, this is a bit annoying, I might lose this. Brings in the Alakazam. So I think he might shut up all here because I have a Jirachi. So I'm just gonna go for. Just gonna go for an Nature's Man as a Moonblast. See, he has knockoff on his Alakazam. That's a cool set. Okay, that's really annoying. Uh, that's for that's for stall. Oh, that's for Skarmory, but Skarmory doesn't switch around this anyway. But yeah, that's for Skarmory, so Magnuson can trip it, I guess, and get rid of the Shed Shell. Or maybe it's for Chansey on stall too. Yeah, of course it's for Chansey, and then the later I can put in where I like this idea of the team. I'm gonna go Jirachi here on the Psychic. Oh, knock off again. Go play. Gonna U turn here to get the. I mean, he's probably, I'm probably gonna go Landris, but in case he stays in, I don't wanna double switch. Yeah, exactly, in case he stays in. We love that and we kill off his Alakazam, and now we can bring in. Nehiligo would just bring in his. Nehiligo would bring in his Magnazone, which is bad. Um, 
I actually don't know what to do here. But yeah, I'm gonna bring the Heliko in and he can bring his mana as well, but... I just wanna keep the Landris out so he doesn't get up rocks, and I wanna keep that Lily out. And if I was HP ground, if I bluffed the HP out, it's not, I, I already revealed the HP out, what am I saying? I already hit this... Gonna make the Merrick play here. That doesn't do much, uh, no spit death drop, and... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Calc how much Flare Blitz does. Let me open the calculator. Flare Blitz is a roll to kill the Landris, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the roll on the Landris. Hopefully we can get this roll. We don't get a roll, that sucks a lot, and now he knows I'm not Rockhead. Um, this is bad. I'm just gonna go type of Fini here. Should've just gone for Shadow Bow, now he knows I'm not Rock... No, I don't, now he knows I'm not Lightning Rod. Oh, this is so bad. And now he can spam T-Bow with the Magnus on. I guess now he cannot spam, because I still have the other thing. Lele is also a big threat. We'll have to sack off my Jirachi here. And then I'm gonna bring in my now uh, here we go. That kills these probably specs. Um the sludge rate in all quarters. Nihiligo versus uh type of Lilla. Sludge Rift is a roll in my favor. Gonna double out into Landris. Um I mean he can just sack off his Landris, so but he can also go with Magnazon. Yeah, I'm gonna go Lando here. If he stays in X, we get his Landers. I guess I'm just gonna smack down. To kill this off so he doesn't get rocks up. But yeah, this is still a rough. I don't know if I can win this. Lando's needed to like Lando gets a kill. It comes in basically on the mana zones. So I'm not gonna sack that. I cannot switch Le uh, Nihiligo in obviously. Lele is such a threat because I'm forced. But Nihiligo, I'm kind of forced to sledge with next time versus Lele, and he can take advantage of that and bring his mana zone in. So this is really bad. Tangros doesn't do that much this game, so I feel like I'm gonna sack my Tangros. But yeah, if he goes for Psyshock and he's, if he's locked in, I can eat that, but I don't know if, he, if he's not locked in, he can kill me. Um, I can go for Leech Seed here. Knockoff would also be decent play. Leech Seed is nice to get health um, from the Magnazone. But I don't know if I, what, I would, what I would switch in if he goes Magnazone here. But yeah, if he's not choice like he can kill me, but the way he's um, taking his time, I think he's choice locked. Sasha did nothing though. Like I know mixed defense, but still psychic during boosted. If that's specs, I don't think that's specs. If that's specs, um Lilith, um Tangus is actually beast. Yeah, he's just locked. Knocking off there would have been his He's probably Z move Gengar. I don't understand why you why else you would go Gengar. I'm just gonna go in the Heligo then. This is nice, I keep my Tang at full, but even though Tang is only like it's kinda like only fodder and Magnazone is scary, so I want to double into. I'm just gonna power jam to chip at the Magnazone. Um, I don't think there's power jam doesn't even kill Gengar, right? But yeah, so I'm just gonna switch power jam. I wanted to double on the on the Magnazone, but he went Fini. Okay, so I guess that works out for me, kind of. Ah, uh, you can clearly go for Nature's Menace if he has it. I feel like just spamming power gem is fine. If he doesn't have Scald, I don't lose that much. Yeah, he just has Moonlight, don't get a drop. As he doesn't get a drop, so this is fine. Like, you can bring in his Magnus on if he wants to, like... Yeah, and just Magnus is fine, you can chip me. But, uh, this is a roll to kill, rip. Should we get the roll, nice. So I think we have a chance to win this now, as he's forced into Magnus zone, and we're gonna save this for the, for the Lele, obviously. 
The only thing Tangrowth does is uh, stop the Lilia from clicking Psyshock. Gonna go Tangrowth in case he goes for T Bolt. Now he's no reason not to Flash can I think, yeah. And yeah, Flash can also tweet kills Merrick, so I'm just gonna get a kill Merrick after this, so yeah, I'm just gonna sack this. That's a crit there. Now I'm gonna kill with Landers here. If he scarf man is on and then I fucked up the entire time, I don't think he scarf. But yeah, like he has no switch into the earthquake. This should get a kill, this should outspeed. If he's faster, I fucked up um, really big if he scarf. Fucked up big time, but I should have this in the bag. I don't know why he went in the Feeny the one time where, where I went for Power Jam. He could have just gone Mana Zone. I would have been in a bad position, honestly, but I feel like doubling there on, on the Gengar was too risky in case he went for. Maybe he went for Z. He could have gone for Z move. So yeah, I've played Landers Adam and just Oko's the Lele. This is why. This is amazing, and I want to save this. Mm, I kind of. I'm kind of weak to Gengar now. I'm actually kind of weak, so maybe I shouldn't have let. If he's the Z move one, he's not choice locked, so this is actually really bad. He can go for Shadow Ball here. Mm, I guess I have to set my Marowak since it dies to T Bolt anyway. And. I feel like I have to get damage on this with Tapu Fini, and then I can kill it with Nihilic or Lemikalk. So I might actually still lose Gengar. Power Gem does 62 to 73. And Shadow Ball won't kill me, but Z Move will kill me, so. How much does Sludge Wave do Tapu Fini? Tapu Fini. I have no Spadaf on my Fini though. Um, Sludge Wave doesn't kill. Hmm. But he can go Magna Zone if I go into Nihiligo. Rip, yeah, he can still go Magna Zone on my Fini too. So if he goes Magna Zone, I feel like I had to. D I have to double, but. I think he's just gonna. Yeah, I should have doubled until Landers there. Um, rip. He's probably gonna flash can because he cannot let my Landers come in. Mm, yeah, I think I just lose to the Gengar now. If I had Rocks up, I. Wait a second. If I sack this, I can go on the landers, right? Actually, no, I cannot get rocks up because I died of flash again. What am I saying? Yeah, I think I just lose. If I had HP fire, maybe I had a chance. Like, I don't think I have, a, I have a play. He's just gonna flash can and blow me away. And he gets a crit. Come on, dude. I mean, I got a crit earlier too, so I cannot say anything. Wait, I have to go for Moonblast drops. I don't know. Moonblast drop, I might live with it. Yeah, so that's my play. So I doubled into Landers there, I feel like I won, but ugh. yeah, I should have doubled into Landers there, I choked this away. I don't know if I want to say choke. I didn't make the play that I had to make. This team is like, oh, I'm too quick to mana zone F. Like, I don't even know if I want to pass this guy in the this team in the description. We don't get the drop, yeah, we lose. Actually, we don't lose, what am I saying? We go to Nihiligo, we get a beast boost and we win. Ooh, it's lit. If this doesn't kill, Nihiligo is actually dog shit, and I don't know what to say, but it kills. We get a crit. I don't think that mattered at 10%, even if he was a salt vest. 
And yeah, but the beast boost we actually kill, so whew. Thought I choked for a second though, I misplayed. Sometimes I just I don't think long term enough. I just think I'm um, about to turn this about to play the specific turn. That's something I have to work on for sure. Um yeah, that's actually a 30 minute live because the last battle was kinda long, I feel like. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. This should kill up us one. Thankful we pulled through. I see Scarf Ganga, but we eat that up. Whew. Nehlego coming through. I thought he was Z-Move Ganga for sure. What was the Z-Move user then? I don't understand. Manazon? No. I don't think he never went for it. Thank you guys for watching. I might lift the team down below, like I said, maybe not. I don't think that's the best team. You can hit me up if you want to pay spin. And I guess you can, yeah, you can join my uh, Skype group, my Skype is Dark Roach, if you want to add me. Because we like team build there. I mentioned this before in another video, but I'm going to mention it again because I mentioned it on a long stall video that not everyone watched that. Mm. So yeah, if you like know how to make my teams better, I know these teams have weaknesses. I build them like two minutes. Let me know, let me know, and hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all have uh, fun on the suspect ladder. Let me know what you think about Fermosa. Um I posted some calcs on the below Poke Games video because there were like people saying that Fermosa is not ban worthy, and I don't agree with them. So, like, I posted some calc that specs um, Focus Blast, Oko Scissor after rocks 100% of the time. Without rocks, it's like roll in their favor, I think. And yeah, the Focus Blast also after. I, th I don't know if it was after rocks, but it also has a chance to kill Mega Scizor, kills Mega Minerals. I um, already mentioned some cards in my uh, Fermosa Suspect Test video. Um, tap, not tap, the Toxapex, but Death gets blown away after rocks by um, Z Hyper Beam Black Neck Blitz. Even if it has some Spidev investment. Um, if it's Max Spidev, you need prior damage, but yeah. I don't feel like that's healthy for the meta that offense has to run Toxapex. Well, that's basically Toxapex on every team. And another good check, like I mentioned in that video, or like P I think PDC mentioned it in that video, that Fermos is like weak to... Um, it gets checked by Merrick pretty much, but Merrick is weak to rocks, and Merrick is slow, so it's like not that the opposing team cannot play around that. Like, if you're the Fermosa player and you see they have a Merrick, and you, if you don't have U-turn, you can just double on the Merrick. If you get rocks up, you do that two times, Merrick is at 50%. Also, also Specs, Bug Buzz is like 30% to Merrick. Um, Shoutouts to Ricardo, he said that in his video. And yeah, so that's, I don't think that's the best counter even. It's only a check too, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm Dokuch, I'm signing out. Peace.